Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you a review of Freedom OS for OnePlus 3. You go to settings menu about phone. Uh, it's not written anywhere that I'm using Freedom ROM, but I've installed the Freedom ROM version 1.4.2, which is based on Oxygen OS 3.2.4 and uh, with the Elemental X custom kernel. So this ROM comes with the Aroma installation, so you can use all these kernel related and other modes, apps and everything you can choose while installing this ROM itself. So I've selected some ROMs and modes and uh, if you want to see how I did the installation you can check for the link for the description. I will provide a link in the description to show you how I did this flashing, how I flashed this ROM. So let's talk about the ROM related features other than that. It's like one of the most popular ROM for OnePlus 3 at the moment, if you ask me. And it's like most like a Oxygen OS talk ROM itself. But with little tweaks and extra mods that you can choose from Aroma installation. So in the notification area you can't find anything seriously. Everything looks just like um, Oxygen OS itself. If you go to settings menu, there is nothing like ROM specific features that I can show you because all these settings are regular in all the Oxygen OS. In customization as you can see all these dark more available buttons, off screen gestures. All these options are related to Oxygen. Yes. So other than that, there are some modes that you can install during the Aroma installation. Some some of the modes like Add Away that will keep your ads away, and um, Dolby Atmos, which is like a, you can play with the sound quality of the devices. And besides that, it comes with Wiper for Android also, which gives an extra woofer effect for your songs it's a really one of the most popular sound mode for android and besides that almost all these okay oh there is one more option it's called substratum it's like a theme theme engine so you can download different themes from play store and you can customize the look it's more like bringing the Cyanogen mode theming to the Oxygen noise. That worth trying. Besides that, almost all options are common to Oxygen noise. Let's go and talk about the battery life. And even the camera application is just like, like, like the same. There's nothing. And this is an overclock version. And during the installation, you can actually select which and all Google applications need to be installed. So you can avoid all those blot ways that you don't use. So what you'll get is a lightweight version of uh, Oxygen OS. And let's talk about the battery life. I took some screenshots. So battery life is like very good battery life. So you can see the battery usage here, Wi-Fi on for all the time, and uh, this is the total screen on time that got me around uh, 3 hours and 39, almost 4 hours, with 10 percentage remaining, and then uh, more than 1 hour of uh, voice call as well. So battery life is good, and then talking about the ad benchmarking score. This is the score I've got for this benchmarking test. It's a really nice. So overall, it's like a neat and then bloatware free Oxygen OS version that you can try. And I'll definitely try this ROM for those who needs to have a more stable release of Oxygen OS with less bloatware. That's it guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe for more.